Hey everyone, today's connection quickie is a little different than the ones before have been because I'm really going to be talking about a very specific tool that is one of my all time favorites. I say this about a lot of stuff I know, but it's the truth here for and it's if you want to feel different in a situation, this is the tool you have to use. I've been using it for years and years. It is tried and true. It's the best and it was created by a man uh, named Albert Ellis. Uh, he's one of really like the fathers of psychology and uh, it's uh, called rational emotive therapy ret which can sound uh i don't know like something complicated but it's not i'm going to teach you today and there's going to be a link below the video so you can download the tool yourself because it's so good so if you want to feel different today about any situation any conversation any anything you got to use the tool so here's how it works. Now, um, it, basically Ellis's whole thing is that we feel the way we think. And this is, we've sort of talked about this in um, psychology for many years and really decided that this is the truth of it all. That it's our thoughts that drive how we end up feeling about something. So it's our perceptions, it's what we think about, it's our expectations, all that stuff is what drives it. So if you wanna change how you feel, then you need to change what you're thinking about. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to people who have maybe a severe dep clinical depression or other sorts of uh, mental health issues. Uh, this is still a tool that absolutely works. It's just gonna be different for you depending on how severe your mental health issue might be. But having said that, you know, please go see a, a, a healthcare professional, see if you need medication, do all that. That's a whole separate deal than what I'm doing today. But this will certainly be helpful. Okay, so basically when Ellis did his thing, he called it the ABCD format. I have broken it down a little bit farther so that you can really, um, you know, focus on what you need to focus on as like and get very specific. Uh, while you do this. So here's how it works. It, the format basically goes like this. Let's say something happens and uh, you're, I'm going to give you the example that you were late getting to a restaurant to meet, have dinner with your partner. Okay. You and your partner have a date, have one of your little dates, date nights, and you get there late. And so, and your partner is super upset with you. Um, I'm going to pretend it's me. Like I'm the one who's late and my partner, he's angry and upset and very annoyed um, and so what will often happen there is I might get a little defensive and go like hey I'm only 20 minutes late why are you getting so mad this is our special date night and then he might tell me all these things while well, I'm feeling disrespected and you know if I'm a really a priority why are you late and we end up in an argument and where is the date night gone right and then maybe we're supposed to go to a movie after the dinner and the whole time I'm seething about you know what a, what a jerk my my partner is so you can see how this ruins my whole night so instead i'm going to give you the the ret kind of format to deal with this so that you can have a great night and you can really change the entire game about what you know the entire well it's no game in your relationship but the entire tenor the entire feeling of that evening so basically you'd get a piece of paper and i like to write this down i don't like to do it in my head so i have literally i've had stuff happen at a restaurant and i have uh, gone to the bar, gotten a bar napkin and, and asked to borrow a pen. And I've literally gone in the bathroom and done this, uh, no joke. Um, but most of the times I try to carry a pen and a little notepad in my car, in my glove compartment, and I can like pull those out at any time. So, uh, and you could do this in the notes on your phone. I mean, but just like write it. it it's really helpful to, to get it in sort of black and white. So the first thing you would do is is the A part of the A, B, C, D, even though I've like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> is to write down what the situation is. Now, this is sometimes the hardest part because you need to write it without judgment. I know it's very hard to do. I'm a judge. I can get kind of judgy. So it's actually kind of harder to do than you might think, but you want to write down. So for example, with this situation where I'm late for this dinner, it's uh, not, I was 20 minutes late and my partner was a jerk about it. That's not the facts. <laughs> That's not the situation. You just want to write um, uh, really what is. So, uh, you know, my partner was angry with me when I arrived 20 minutes after I said I would be there. 
So I wouldn't even call it late. I would just, you know, cause again, that's even a judgment. If you're eating in Europe, 20 extra minutes isn't late as people who are in Europe right now listening know I'm telling the truth. So uh, you just would see how like you take out all the, you take out all the heat. You really just say what is. And then next, what you're gonna do is write down the B is your beliefs. What are your thoughts about what happened? So, um, you might think, uh, and write down what the truth is for you. Uh, my partner's always, always looking for what I'm doing wrong. Uh, he's always making mountains out of mole hills. Uh, or maybe I'm judging myself, you know, why can't I ever be on time? Why do I ruin all the good things? You know, um, anything like that. Do you see like these beliefs that you have flying around in your head? And then the next thing you want to do is write down your, the C is your feelings about it. So if I'm thinking this, that, uh, why can't I ever do anything right? Or, um, or, you know, we can never have a nice time. He's always making remarks, whatever it is that I'm thinking, how am I feeling? And my guess is if you were to write down your feelings at that point, uh, they might be depressed, anxious, um, angry, resentful, uh, overwhelmed. Maybe you're just feeling frustrated. Uh, like, you know, nothing ever changes, uh, any of those kinds of things you can see, right? And then normally you would have after that some sort of reaction, uh, which might be that you would be, like I mentioned before, you might be angry back, you might get defensive, you might be in an argument, um, all those things, okay? So now what you're gonna do instead of having that reaction <laughs> is you're going to do E, which is, see, I told you mine's a little longer, which is that you're gonna dispute you're going to dispute your beliefs, those thoughts you had. You're going to go back to B, what you wrote down for B for your beliefs, and you're going to dispute them. And my favorite way to do this is to say, uh, what else could be true? Not what else is true. What do I know to be a fact? We're not doing facts here because nothing's a fact. But instead, what else could be true? Could in, in all the world be true about what's happening right now? And when you really get to that, it's something different because you realize that lots of things could be true. Um, uh, my, uh, you could, so then you're gonna write this down. You know, what else could be true? Well, my partner is angry with me because um, this is important that it looks like he's a priority in my life and coming 20 minutes later made it look like he wasn't a priority. Um, what else could be true? You know, um, he's really having a bad day today. And so things that don't usually upset him are really upsetting him. And he probably needs a little extra TLC. You know, what else could be true? I'm not a complete loser. Um, <laughs> I don't ruin everything. And, you know, sometimes I get too caught up in my days. What else could be true? I have way too much on my plate. I have way too much on my plate. Uh, what else could be true? I planned this knowing I was going to be late, knowing I could never fit all that in or like kind of knowing it in the back of my head. And I actually set myself up. I need to stop doing that. Do you know what I mean? All of these could be true. Now, if you were to believe this, you would have an F and <laughs> now you're an F you'd have new feelings. So if I could believe, if I could just suspend judgment for a minute, this isn't all puppy dog tails and rainbows. I'm not trying to go there, but I'm just trying to really open it up to what I believe are the facts and the truth and absolute isn't, you know, we think we know and we don't. So if I want to open that up a little bit, uh, and, and by the way, that is more the truth. I'm not a complete loser. I do do many things, right? I don't ruin everything. Uh, but I did maybe not plan the day well, and maybe this is something I do often and I need to look at it. So, uh, these new feelings I would now write down. So maybe now it's like, well, I'm still not happy, but I feel, I don't feel angry. I feel a little sad. I feel, um, you know, a little bummed out that, that this didn't go better to start, but I'm also feeling probably more, a little more compassion for myself and my partner. I hope uh, a little more kind, a little calmer, a little more patient. So with these new feelings, cause that's probably how you'd be feeling if you could believe these new things. What, and this is the final part, what is going to be my next action? The way to get out of any feeling is really at the end of the day is to take some sort of positive actions, to take some sort of next right step. 
And when we do that, it really changes everything. We really start to feel different when we take action. So that would be the next thing you would do is decide, okay, here's what is, what am I going to do now that is going to change the rest of the night? So maybe at that point, I would actually just stop the conversation and go, you know what? We got, I got this off to a bad start. Uh, I would take ownership for being late, not in, and or being after I promised I would be, and I would make a sincere apology. And maybe I would even say, you know what, I really thought about this, and I know sometimes I do this, and I kind of self-sabotage, and I'm not, I'm really gonna work on that. But please know I'm here right now. Or maybe I could just say, can we start again? Um, and, and just, you know, kind of turn this night around. Uh, whatever that is that I'm gonna do is n definitely gonna be a value add, or at least something different than what I've done before. Because you know the things you've been doing before haven't been working when you sit there feeling angry and resentful and overwhelmed and whatever else. So uh, whatever those are. And this is how you change your state. Remember, we feel the way we think. So as I start to think differently about what's going on, I actually start to feel differently about what's going on, which means I'm gonna to start to interact differently. There you have it. So that is the RET tool. You can uh, click in the link below to get yourself a copy of the tool, which I think you totally want to have. It's free. It's no charge. Um, and uh, I think that's it for today. I'm Dr. Abby Metcalf. I help people create lasting change in their relationships, even if their partner won't do a thing. If you haven't yet, you are got to subscribe to the channel uh, and you can hit the little button to do that. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.